channel, I'm Candy, and I just wanted to show you guys a quick um, updated pin curl um, pin up hair tutorial. You guys really loved the last one, it's had tons of views and I've loved all the feedback from you guys. So I wanted to show you guys a bit of a different way of doing it, a slightly a neater, uh, more classic way of doing the pin curl style. This time, instead of using the flat irons like I did with the other one, I, um, I actually used a 3 quarter inch curling iron. Uh, which some of you may find easier to use. I use the three quarter inch because it gives a bit of a tighter curl rather than um, the usual uh, one inch curling irons. They don't tend to do the job quite so well. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this um, tutorial on this pin up kind of curly style and give it a go. Let me know what you guys think and then let me know. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's do this. So I'd recommend starting with day old or a couple of day old hair. So it's not super clean because clean hair tends to be kind of difficult to use. So I'm going to grab my teasing brush right here which I pretty much use for everything and just start um, with a nice deep side part on the side that I prefer to part on which is always the same side. I'm going to use pin curl clips for this which are these little guys, you can get those from most beauty stores. This 3 quarter inch curling iron. And then you'll also need a little bit of workable hairspray. This is the TG Pro. I'm going to just do a little one inch section here to start my first pin curl. Grab your curling iron and just bring it almost down to the end but not quite and start rolling up. Make sure you're rolling the hair under, not over. The reason I leave that little end bit sticking out is because uh, if sometimes if you take the hair all the way to the end, you'll find you'll have the shorter hairs drop out of your section so it just makes it a bit easier keeping it all together. So you just hold that for a few seconds. I always just give it a little tap to feel that it's hot all the way through and then just secure that with one of my pin curl clips. And then I'm going to repeat that with another one inch section on the side. Again taking those curling irons almost to the end but not quite and then rolling under. And then just holding that till it feels like it's got nice and hot. And then I'll just give it a little bit of a wiggle down so I can grab that little loose end and bring that into the curl. Then again once that's hot enough I just poke that little end inside and then just clip that in with the, set, with the pin curl clip. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. So just continue curling another one inch sections till you've got another row that just reaches kind of just behind your ear. Now I've got that first section done. You'll still have all the hair in the back and I'm just going to make a section, a big section for my bangs because I want to separate those guys and I'll leave those just pinned up for now and hit them later. So I'm going to continue doing the pin curls, just curling under with my curling iron on the other side and securing those. You don't have to be super neat with your sectioning. I wouldn't really worry about it. Now I've got both sides done, I'm going to start with the back. I'm going to just do a roll on the crown of my head just so I have a little bit of high right there and then I'm going to continue with the rolls in the back. I wouldn't worry too much about not being able to see the back of your head. Um, you can kind of feel out the sections and just make sure that you don't have too much hair and make sure that you're always curling under. So now I've got all of my hair in little pin curled sections. I'm going to grab some of this workable hairspray by TG Pro and just set that down with some spray. Now I'm going to hit this front section. I'm just going to do exactly what I did before and I'm going to do our little pin curls and just make sure they go away from your part and always curling under. My bangs are pretty short so you should just be able to pull the curling iron out without messing up the roll. But it honestly comes with practice, you'll, you'll soon figure it out. 
So now I've got those three rolls in the front. You can always do more if your hair's a little bit thicker than mine. I'm going to use that workable spray just to set that. Now just give your hair a good feel and make sure it's all cooled down before you start taking out the clips. Sometimes I'll do this. Um, I'll, I'll set my hair and then I'll sit and do my makeup, which takes about 20 minutes, and then I'll take the, the clips out. But mine felt nice and cool, so I figured I'd get the show on the road. So just take all the clips out, just leave the clips in your bangs for now and then just start running your fingers through your hair and just slowly breaking up those curls. And then I'm going to use my teasing brush just to softly brush out the curls. Now, duckbill clips. So just take your hair and kind of smooth it out on the side and then take that duckbill clip kind of just behind your ear and just pin down that hair and then just kind of overlap these duckbill clips all the way around until they kind of meet all the way and have one more bad boy to stick in there maybe two it really helps to have a mirror too. I don't have a mirror behind me while I'm doing this. So I'm just kind of guessing what I'm doing. So now I'm going to take my teasing brush and I'm just going to start teasing the underneath of my hair just to try and poof it out on the bottom. My hair's pretty fine on the end so I kind of got a lot of wispy bits. So just make sure you get all those wispy bits and tuck them under. And just take your time with this. Use a mirror. Try and get a mirror behind you so you can make sure you've got all of the hair tucked under. As you can see, it comes together pretty fast. And now you are going to want to grab your blow dryer. This is a little trick that I learned from Miss Rockabilly Ruby when she used me as a model recently for a hair class, and it's awesome. So I just used a little bit of my Got To Be hairspray, which is a, a free spray, and um, I pop that little bit on, and then I'm setting it with the blow dryer, and it really just holds that curl in place. And if you have any little bits of hair hanging down, just tease those up, or tuck them under. You can always use a little bobby pin and, and just secure them if you need to. And then make sure you get the very underneath of your hair so you don't have any wispy bits down the back of your neck. Now I'm just going to take out these sectioning clips in the front and start working on my bang. So I'm just running my fingers through just to break it up. And then I'm going to grab my teasing brush and just tease in like a C motion on the root. And try and make sure you're teasing those uh, sections together so you don't have any breaks between them where they were where they're originally curled. And I'm going to use my hand just to kind of brush and mold the hair over into a nice big curl in the front. Honestly, with this, I wouldn't fight your hair. I would just kind of see what your hair wants to do and work with it. I've got this little bit right here on the end that kind of wants to curl in, so. I'm just going to smooth that out with my fingers and just pop that where it wants to go. I'm using a bit of the free spray just to kind of hold that in place. Make sure you just spray a little bit on the inside too so you don't have any nasty rough looking hair there. I have a little break in my part there so I just took the comb over. A bit more hairspray, a bit more blow dry just to make sure that's nice and secure. My camera went out of focus, it's pretty awesome. So that should be how it looks in the back. I've got a little break in the back there, which is really annoying, but again, I didn't have a mirror, so that's definitely something you can smooth over later. It's not a big deal. So now I'm just going to take out these duckbill clips. Be nice and gentle here. Make sure you're not being too rough because you don't want to mess up the hair you just sprayed down. So once you've got all those clips out, 
you can use your, your comb or a brush and just gently go over where the clips were so you don't have any dents in your hair. And then I'm just grabbed a bobby pin and just twisted that little front, that little side part and just secured it down behind my ear. And then you can leave it like this or I like to put a little flower in. So this is my project pin up hair flower. So I'm just going to shove that in just to cover up the bobby pin. This is the finished style. I hope you guys love it. I'm not on a spinny chair, so I'm having to manually spin. So as you can see, um, it's not going to budge. It's pretty lacquered in there. Uh, this is a great style if you're going to be out and about at events and um, it's hot and you don't you don't want to have um, you know loose long hair everywhere. Uh, this style, it's great for short hair. I kind of got like mid-length hair. It works really well for that too. And then if you do have longer hair, you may just need to tease a bunch and uh, pop a few bobby pins in um, to try and keep that kind of like faux bob style. So let me know how you guys get on. And thank you for watching. And hit the subscribe button if you like it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.